Welcome to ZSL's Wild Science, the show which looks at how groundbreaking science is coming to the rescue of some of the most endangered animal species on the planet. Hello, my name's Alice and this week we're going to be looking at a lethal amphibian disease that's causing a species of critically endangered frog to go close to the verge of extinction. The mountain chicken is one of the largest species of frog in the world and is found exclusively on Dominica and Montserrat in the Eastern Caribbean. Currently classed as critically endangered by the IUCN's red list, its numbers have been decimated by the amphibian disease Chytridiomycosis. Now conservation scientists with the Mountain Chicken Recovery Programme have found new evidence to suggest that this is one of the fastest species declines in history. Today I'm meeting Mike Hudson, the lead author on this new study, to find out more about the findings, what is being done to protect the mountain chicken, and what all this means for the fight against a disease which is proving so devastating for amphibian populations around the world. So Mike, can you first tell us about the significance of these findings? We've reported one of the fastest ever species-wide declines ever recorded globally for any species. That's caused by this fungal disease, Chytridiomycosis, which I'll call Chytrid to make it easier to say. <laughs> and um, this, this fungus has caused declines and extinctions of frogs globally. And on the mountain chicken, on Dominica and Montserrat, the only two islands on which it occurred, it suffered an 85% decline within 18 months on Dominica. And later on nearby Montserrat, the population went nearly extinct within the same amount of time. That decline was associated with a huge um, drop in genetic diversity, which renders that species even more susceptible to future declines. So how did you first discover that chytrid was having an impact on these islands? Well, so routine monitoring on Dominica started to observe this epidemic of mortality um, on, on Dominica in the early 2000s, and that was quickly diagnosed as being driven by chytridiomycosis, chytrid, um, by scientists from ZSL and from the government of Dominica. Um, that then enabled us to track that, de that decline, the impact of that disease over time, and we predicted that the disease would probably spread to the only other population of mountain chickens in the Caribbean, which is on Montserrat, and that enabled uh, Durrell Wildlife Conservation Trust and the government of Montserrat to start tracking the potential impact of that disease on Montserrat. When the disease did arrive, that meant that we were able to track the decline, work out how bad the impact was, and also start trialling interventions to prevent the imminent extinction of the frog. So since this discovery, what work has been done to prevent them from going extinct? Well, because we were able to predict that the disease might impact Montserrat, the Montserrat government was able to give us an early warning that the disease had arrived, and scientists went out to the field and evacuated 50 frogs as part of a captive safety net population that we've bought to European Zoo. So we have frogs in ZSL at Durrell in Jersey, at Chester Zoo and at Norden's Ark. I'm happy to say that some of those frogs have bred, so we are just about able to keep those frogs alive. And we've just shown in our recent analysis that the population is representative of the genetic diversity on Montserrat. So that's quite good, which means we can protect against any future losses. So the governments of Montserrat and Dominica have been pivotal to date in carrying out conservation interventions, such as a captive breeding centre on Dominica, and also trialling treatments on Montserrat. They also carry out routine monitoring all year round, which is enabling us to see what's happening with the remnant populations, those tiny few individuals that survive the epidemic. So what do these new findings mean for the future conservation aimed at battling this disease? Well, so it's another example of how we're unable to stop extinctions worldwide, despite agreements to do so. If we could prevent the fungus arriving on an island like it did on Montserrat, if we could prevent it arriving on islands such as Sri Lanka, where there's a huge diversity of amphibians, we could prevent declines. But countries can't do that alone. We have to find ways of channeling resources from places that are better off, have greater capacity, into those countries that require it most and where amphibians are most at risk. The unprecedented decline in mountain chicken frogs has shown just how destructive the chytrid disease can be to amphibians across the globe. The critically important scientific work of the conservation scientists, like those working at ZSL and their partners in the Mountain Chicken Recovery Programme, is currently what stands in the way of their potential extinction. So if you like this video, why not subscribe? And also you can watch more scientific videos by clicking the link below.